hey guys and welcome back in this video we shall see how to fix the problem where the device manager does not open up in windows 11 or windows 10 so let's try to access the device manager from a different ways so the first way is by using start menu and then you have to just look for device manager and there it is you can just try to open it up and check whether it's opening up or not if it's still not opening then you can hit windows plus r key it's going to open the run command now here you can type dev m g m t dot m s c and hit enter and your device manager should pop out if it is still not opening up then the other way to launch device manager is via command prompt so you can just right click on this start button and then you can look for powershell so if you are on windows 11 you will find powershell here if you are on windows 10 or the older version of windows 11 you might find here the terminal so you can either use terminal or you can use powershell so you just have to open it up and then in the console you just have to type the same command that is dev mgmt dot msc and hit enter and it's going to open up the device manager for you now if you are still not able to open up device manager then the next method is by using admin rights now to do that you have to hit control plus shift plus escape it is going to launch the task manager and alternatively you can just right click on the start button and then click on task manager then after that you will find this button here that's run new task so just click on it now using this command we can run a new task so just type here dev mgmt dot msc like this and then click here to give it the administrative privileges and then just click on ok it's going to start the device manager with admin privileges if the device manager is still not opening up then in the third way we will try to access it from computers management tool let me close this windows so all you need to do is just right click on your start button like this and then from here you can find this option that is computer management so just click on it now you can expand the system tools on this left panel and under system tools you will find this device manager so if you click on it you can access all of your devices from the middle pane or the panel and make the changes that you want to do so it's just like working with the device manager so if for some reason you are still not able to get access to your device manager then the fourth fix is to run system maintenance troubleshooter now to do that we have to open settings so just right click on your start button and then click on settings and then from here on the left panel you can just click here in the search bar and then just search for maintenance you are going to get search results like this and from here you have to click on this result that is perform recommended maintenance task automatically and uh, from here you can click on advanced and make sure this is ticked that is apply repairs automatically and then just click on next and then let windows search for any issue and try to solve it for you and if it shows something like this that you need to run with administrator permissions then you can click here on try troubleshooting as an administrator and let windows search if there is any issue and once you get message like this troubleshooting has completed then you can try and run device manager and check if the problem has been solved for you so i'll just close all these windows then in the next step i want you to run sfc which is the system file checker and now to do that you can just right click on your start button and then click on powershell with admin privileges so click on this one with admin all right 
Now the first command that I want you to write is SFC space forward slash scan now like this and hit enter. And I'm going to keep all the commands in the description of the video. So you can directly copy those commands from the description and paste in your computer and run. Now once the scan is finished, you may get messages like this. So in my computer, there were some corrupt files which SFC or Windows Resource Protection has found and successfully repaired. The next command is DISM space forward slash online forward slash cleanup image space forward slash check health and then the next command is DISM online cleanup image scan health now once this operation is completed the next command that I want you to run is DISM online cleanup image and restore health so you have to change this one all right guys once this operation completes you can just restart your computer for once and then try to check if the device manager is working for you the sixth step is to perform system restore so let's see how we can do that you can just click on your start button and then search for restore and then you can click here on create a restore point and the tab will be on system protection now here you have to click on this button system restore all right now click on next now you can observe that there are two restore points for my computer in the same way there might be many more restore points for your computer and also before restoring the computer to a previous point click on this button also scan for affected programs so that you know what are the changes that are going to be made to your computer when you perform this restore like if i make my system restore to this point then this is the effect that it's going to have on my computer but anyways i'm just giving you an example in the same way you will have to look for the restore point before which your device manager was working so you can click on next and on the next page you'll just have to click on finish and then your pc is going to reboot and revert to the specified restore point and then just check if your device manager has started working or not then the last step or the last method that you can follow is reset your computer it's a very drastic step so make sure that you create a backup of all your important documents and files and applications before you do this reset now to do that you can just right click on your start button and then click on settings and then from here you can click on system tab on this left panel all right then on the right side you can just scroll down till you find this option recovery you can just click on it and then after that you'll have to click here on reset pc now it depends on the way you are going to do the reset if you want to save all the data that is present on your c drive then you can click here on keep my files so after that on the next step windows is going to ask whether you want to download and reinstall windows or you want to reinstall window from the set of files which are already present on your computer so once you finish with the reset of your computer hopefully your device manager will start working so that's all for this video if this video was of any help to you then don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's free for you but it helps me a lot so don't forget to subscribe and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching